Today's challenge, every parent's nightmare. Throw it through her. When your dog... He's barking, he's clawing. He's literally baring his teeth. ..turns on your child. We need Victoria's help before he bites face. <laughs> In Essex, Brendan and Victoria were living the dream, newly married and sharing their home with Ziggy, their four-year-old toy poodle. He was the perfect little doggy, my little fur baby. Very loving, quite playful. Yeah. He was so calm indoors. He was the, the perfect dog. But then the arrival of their daughter, Faith, changed everything. No, we thought he was going to be perfect with baby. We were so wrong. Uh, Ever since Faith was born, Ziggy has been an absolute nightmare. And with lockdown, we weren't able to get anybody to come in and help us with Ziggy. Rather than being Faith's best friend, Ziggy is a dog obsessed. He doesn't take his eyes off her, constantly watching. In her high chair, in her playpen, he's, he's watching her. Every time I have to pick her up, which is all the time, Ziggy will just start barking. <laughs> You'd think he would calm down eventually, but he doesn't. Throw it through her. It just drives you mad having that go all the time. So while the baby gates were intended for Faith, instead they're being used to keep Ziggy at bay. If we're holding her, he'll jump up your legs and, like, sc scratch like he's desperate to get to her. He's barking, he's spinning, he's clawing, and when he goes a bit wild like that, there's no way to calm him down. This once affectionate dog now can't be trusted with Faith or even other dogs, which in the past was never a problem. We've not let Ziggy off the lead now because we just don't trust how he's going to react. Zig. Hey. He's literally, like, darting all over the place and baring his teeth. Although Ziggy hasn't turned on Faith, now she's constantly on the move, Brendan and Victoria are worried for her safety. We are desperate for Victoria's help. Before it gets even worse. Ziggy, leave. It's not just fixing Ziggy, is it? It's just it's fixing our family, really. Toy poodles are extremely intelligent and highly trainable, but when a routine changes, something that happens when you have a baby, any dog can find it hard to adjust, and it seems like Ziggy's having a really difficult time. Hello. Hi, Victoria. Hello. Hi. Would you like to come in? I would. <laughs> having picked Faith up... Ziggy. <laughs> already, a certain toy poodle isn't happy. I see why I'm here. Um, yep. I see he's shaking. Does he always do that? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whenever Faith is going somewhere or doing something, Ziggy, leave. Since day one, pretty much, yeah. What's he like when she's in the pen? Well, I'll show you. When you put her in there initially, he barks. All right, OK. He does calm down eventually. <laughs> no, leave. He's very intense. Mm. Mm. Does he watch her like this all the time? All day. Constantly, yeah. Even when he's being quiet and she's fairly stationary, he will watch her. OK. Athletic, playful and highly intelligent, poodles come in different sizes. Toy poodles like Ziggy reach a maximum height of 25 centimetres and a weight of around six pounds. But while they make great companions, they are sometimes prone to anxiety. 
To get to the root of Ziggy's problems, Victoria wants to observe a typical day. Ziggy, leave. As soon as they move, he is up, he is barking, he's restless, he shakes, he's constantly, constantly watching her. When they pick Faith up, that really gets him going. Ziggy, leave. He wants to get at her. Zig. I don't know how this family have managed up to now. Their stress levels must be off the chart. Now he's almost screaming as he gets picked up. And that signifies something a little bit more sinister. Very worried about potential of a bite here. The only respite for Brendan and Victoria is putting Ziggy on the other side of the baby gate. Wait. Good boy. Wait. Even though he's calmed down, he's still watching her. Yeah. So there's no downtime for him. It's one thing for Ziggy to be barking, but it's also another thing for him to have this laser focus. All the time. Almost like he is obsessed. A nightmare at home and in public, Ziggy's mum has the video to prove it. This is him on a walk. <laughs> and that's actually at a dog on the other side of the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite embarrassing because normally the other dog isn't barking. Concerned by everything she's seeing, Victoria is adamant. There isn't a moment to lose. The mom in me, as well as the trainer in me, is like, oh my gosh, this is an accident waiting to happen. I see a dog that is very conflicted, quite confused, that yes, is stressed, and it's all centered around faith, and he cannot relax. Some of the things that I am going to do is going to help bring Ziggy relief. Then you'll start to see that stress level come down. But I'm telling you now, with the intensity of your dog's behavior, nothing will change if you don't change. We know it's not a click your fingers moment, so we know it's, it's something that's gonna take a bit of effort and a bit of time, but anything, anything's, be better be better, yeah, anything's better than this. We have a lot to do, so let's get to work. <laughs> Jumping in at the deep end, Victoria wants to redirect Ziggy's reactive behaviour to a more enriching activity called a snuffle mat. I want you to be able to pick Faith up without him reacting. And that's why I have the snuffle mat. You hide little bits of food in here. And this really gives Ziggy the opportunity to forage indoors. I am fully expecting him to find it really difficult to focus on this. Because all of this adrenaline just like floods his body and he's not even thinking. Mm. He's just being a dog. So I want all of that energy focused on the floor and not up jumping at Faith. How does that sound? Amazing. Uh, yeah, after, yeah, after 16 odd months of Constant. Barking every time we pick her up. Yeah. So we want from life is just, yeah. just yeah. to all live together. With the key players in place, time to put the snuffle map to the test. Start picking her up. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yes. Good boy. Let's go get it. Good boy. All right, put her back in her crib. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to stand up. Just going to go, let's go. And take him out for some calm down. Oh. Let's go. go. After a quick spin around the kitchen, Ziggy's a little calmer and ready for round two. Oh, yeah, let's do it. You can see right now he is actually focusing on there. So we're making progress. Now he's pouring at it. Good. Okay. Now I want you to pick her up again. That's it. Go get that. Good boy. Yes. I am so proud of you. Wow. To see him not do probably the, the, the biggest key reactive behaviour that he's done since God knows when with her, I think it's pretty astonishing, really. Not a single bark. This is a major breakthrough. But to make it the status quo, 
pick her up now. Brendan and Victoria need to master this technique as well. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Worried his behaviour could escalate, Victoria is changing his association with Faith being picked up to something more enriching. Foraging. Immediately, Brendan, go. that's it. Yeah. Go in and play. Put some more food in there. Go get it. Go get it. That's it. Now comes the tricky part. Can Mum Victoria pick up Faith without Ziggy reacting? Stand up. I'm going to talk you through it. Stop. Because he's looking at her. Put your arms to her, go but don't it. move. Don't pick her up. Now pick her up. Yeah. Good. Go get it. Good. Good. Lovely. Keep going, go Brendan. Keep go going. Beautiful. Keep going, Brendan. Go get it. Go That's it. Yes. Go get it. <laughs> After 16 months of hysteria, Ziggy's non-reaction is an early victory. Did you see that? Did you see Ziggy? Brilliant. And now I want you to praise him because now Good. she's moving around Boy. and he's not reacting. It's yeah. great. Good, Good boy. boy. Such wow. A good boy. Yeah. I don't know if amazing cuts here. <laughs> no, I don't think he does either. <laughs> I managed to pick Faith up without Ziggy barking, without him getting into a frenzy. He was really great. That has never happened, and we thought that would never, <laughs> never happen. <laughs> so. Yeah. We've just got to start on this one now. <laughs> The next challenge is refocusing Ziggy's attention when he sees other dogs. Victoria's cunning plan, the emergency U-turn. I love the emergency U-turn. Before you turn round, you tell him, let's go. And let's go is kind of upbeat. We're keeping everything positive. For us, it's easy, but actually this is a skill for him. When you say, let's go, and even if he is reacting, he has that assurance that he's going to be safe because you've got it. All right, so he's walking with me. Let's go. I might have to just put a little pressure on that lead a little bit to break whatever he's fixated on. Let's go. But really, I want him following my body, so I'm not yanking him. For now, it's a technique that needs to be practised away from actual dogs until Mum, Dad and Ziggy get the hang of it. All right, Victoria, take it away. You're going to do the emergency U-turn. Let's go. Yes. Good boy. Let's go. Good. Lovely. Let's Lovely. Go. Turn around again. Nice. Well done. Turn around Let's again. Let's go. Let's go, Ziggy. Motivate him. There you go. Good. Boy. Now, when you next turn, I want you to turn into him. <laughs> Let's go. So he really has to figure out <laughs> which way you're going. There you go. Let's he has go. To be aware of where your body is. Very That's nice. It. Good. All right. So stop. Wonderful. Now comes the bigger challenge: doing an emergency U-turn while also pushing a pram. Now, not only does he have to pay attention to you, he also has to pay attention to the pram. So I'm going to show you how it's done. OK. Let's go. Let's go. The secret is to give the cue first, then turn the pram, which can also be used as a barrier. Let's go. Yes, good boy. But while poodles are quick on the uptake, mm -hmm. Good boy. For humans, it's easier said than done. Um, <laughs> a bit nervous, like it's all going to go wrong, but we'll see. OK, go for it. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Well done. Now he's turning his attention away from all of that to, oh, my mum just turned around. Oh, the pram's turning. I better yeah. do it too. Mm -hmm. Watching him today was kind of cute because he was... He did Picking so well. Yeah. 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 
So it'll be an all-round enjoyable experience for us all, hopefully. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, good. Excellent, well done. The final gift Victoria wants to give Ziggy and Faith <laughs> is a safe place he can relax that doesn't feel or look like punishment. This is the mat that you already have, but we're going to build up a positive association with it. Being on the mat's a, a good thing, it's fun. Which begins with a few treats in order to teach Ziggy the go settle cue. I'm going to lure him, and as I do, I'm going to say, Go saddle. Yes. Aww. Nice. Yes. Just getting him used to going to the mat, he's following my finger, which is becoming a lure. Yes. Eventually, food can be used intermittently. Go saddle. Yes. Oh, good boy, Ziggy. Good boy. That was good, wasn't it? Go yeah. saddle. I really like to have places that dogs can go where they feel comfortable, and that's why I call it their emotional anchor. Now, I'm going to put it behind the gate. Go saddle. Yes. Good boy. It's nice seeing him just being himself, isn't it? Yeah. You can see he's thinking as well. Yeah. yeah. Good boy. And that's what we've got to do, turn overwhelmed brain into thinking brain. Go settle. Which is why, whenever he's behind bars, he'll have both his mat and an enriching toy. When Victoria put him behind the gate, which is where he normally goes, I just thought, there's no way he's going to sit out there nice and quietly. And he did. Mm. She's just like a magician. <laughs> That's the go settle cue. You will keep reinforcing and doing this. So he's really fluid and knows exactly what to do. So then you can use it when Faith is here. We can see with persistence, he will be calmer and most importantly, happier. Yeah, well, all of us be happier. <laughs> Living up to the poodle's reputation for intelligence, Ziggy's progress has been astounding. But this is just the beginning. Definitely challenging, but it's been such a pleasure. We've done so much work, and now you're armed with a lot of skills. I feel like a massive weight has been lifted off me. Your help has given us that platform where we can start changing the behaviour. I didn't think we were going to see that today at all. If he can do that in one day, what will he be able to do in, like, six months' time? You do have a lot of work ahead of you, but I have a lot of faith, no pun intended, <laughs> that you can do it. You have a beautiful daughter, an amazing dog, and I just, I hope the best for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, well done. Over the next few weeks, Brendan and Victoria put into practice everything they've learned. Ziggy, go get it, go get it. Oh, what's that in there? Oh, it's Ziggy. Yummy chicken. I think more so in just understanding how Ziggy thinks. Go settle. Which has changed our way of dealing with him. Dealing yeah, with absolutely. him, and it's definitely made him calmer. Ziggy. While Ziggy still has a way to go, he's no longer obsessed with faith. Go settle. Making friendship between the pair a real possibility. I'm really optimistic. We're already seeing some really good signs. <gasps> Where's Mr. Snail? Where he's calmer, he's starting to interact a lot more positively with her. This one again. We were getting to the point where we just almost like giving up. When Victoria came, I was like, hallelujah. I thought this training was going to be a really impossible task for Victoria and Brendan, but wow, they have shown how consistency and hard work can make great changes. And now Ziggy can live in harmony with faith. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.